The First World War, often referred to as World War I, was a global conflict that lasted from July 28, 1914, to November 11, 1918. It involved many of the world's great powers and reshaped the political, economic, and social landscape of the 20th century. The war's origins are complex and multifaceted, stemming from a combination of long-term tensions, rivalries, and immediate triggers. Here's an in-depth look at why the First World War started. 1. Alliance systems and entangling alliances. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Europe was divided into several major powers, each forming alliances for mutual protection and security. The two main alliance blocs were the Triple Entente, comprising France, Russia, and the United Kingdom, and the Triple Alliance, including Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Italy. These alliances created a network of commitments where an attack on one member could potentially lead to a wider conflict. 2. Nationalism and Imperialism Nationalism was on the rise, with various ethnic and national groups seeking self-determination and independence. This often led to tensions within multi-ethnic empires like Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire. Imperialism also contributed to the rivalry among European powers, as they competed for colonies and resources around the world. 3. Militarism and Arms Race Many European countries had developed large and powerful militaries due to a prevailing belief in the importance of military strength. An arms race emerged, particularly between the naval forces of Britain and Germany. The buildup of military forces created an environment where war might seem like a viable solution. 4. Assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand The immediate trigger for the war was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary and his wife Sophie on June 28, 1914, in Sarajevo by a Serbian nationalist. Austria-Hungary saw this as an opportunity to assert dominance over Serbia and sought support from Germany. 5. July Crisis and Diplomatic Failures The assassination set off a chain of events known as the July Crisis. Austria-Hungary issued an ultimatum to Serbia, which Serbia only partially accepted. Austria-Hungary, supported by Germany, declared war on Serbia on July 28, 1914. This escalation led to a domino effect, as alliances were invoked and various countries declared war on each other. 6. Failure of Diplomacy and Escalation Diplomatic efforts to de-escalate the situation proved ineffective due to the complex web of alliances and long-standing rivalries. Negotiations were further hindered by inflexible leaders, miscommunication, and a belief in the inevitability of war. 7. Mobilization and declarations of war. As tensions escalated, countries began to mobilize their armies. Germany declared war on Russia on August 1, 1914, and then on Belgium and France. Germany's invasion of Belgium prompted the United Kingdom to declare war on Germany. The conflict quickly spread across Europe and beyond. In conclusion, the outbreak of the First World War was the tragic culmination of a complex web of geopolitical, economic, and social factors that had been simmering for decades. The war's origins can be traced back to a volatile mixture of nationalism, imperialism, militarism, alliance systems, and diplomatic failures. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, while serving as the immediate trigger, was merely the spark that ignited the powder keg that Europe had become. The alliance systems, formed ostensibly to ensure security and maintain a balance of power, ironically turned out to be entangling commitments that drew nations into a conflict they might have otherwise avoided. The rigid alliance blocks of the Triple Entente and the Triple Alliance amplified the impact of the initial crisis and set the stage for the swift escalation of the conflict. Militarism played a significant role as well. The belief in the necessity of strong military forces led to an arms race, not only in terms of the sheer size of armies and navies but also in the development of new and more destructive weaponry. This arms race created an environment where the outbreak of war might have seemed like a plausible solution to some leaders. Nationalism and imperialism, too, fueled tensions. The rise of nationalist movements and the desire for self-determination clashed with the interests of multi-ethnic empires, causing internal strife and international friction. Imperial ambitions, driven by the pursuit of colonies and resources, further strained relations among the major powers, adding to the atmosphere of competition and mistrust. The failure of diplomacy cannot be understated. In the weeks leading up to the war, diplomatic efforts were rife with miscommunication, miscalculation, and intransigence. 
Leaders and decision-makers often believed that the war would be brief and decisive, failing to comprehend the magnitude of the conflict that was about to engulf the world. This lack of effective communication and diplomacy allowed the crisis to spiral out of control. The First World War's onset marked a turning point in history. The ensuing years of brutal warfare led to unprecedented loss of life and introduced horrifying new dimensions of warfare with the use of advanced weaponry like poison gas and tanks. The war also brought about profound social and economic changes, including the collapse of empires, the redrawing of borders, and the emergence of new nations. In the aftermath of the war, the League of Nations was established in an attempt to prevent such a catastrophic conflict from happening again. However, the unresolved issues and punitive terms of the Treaty of Versailles, which ended the war, sowed the seeds for future conflicts, ultimately leading to the Second World War. The lessons of the First World War serve as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked nationalism, militarism, and the failure of diplomatic efforts. Understanding the complexities that led to the war encourages us to strive for international cooperation, open communication, and peaceful conflict resolution in order to prevent such catastrophic events from recurring in the future.